Paul had set his sights on Ephesus very early on. Uh, maybe not in the first mission journey. He had too much to do in the interior of Anatolia, Asia Minor. Today we call it Turkey. And remember the cities there, Antioch and Pisidia, Iconium, Derby, Lystra, and so forth. Uh, but now in the second mission journey, he was aiming directly for Ephesus, revisiting the four churches that he had founded there. But now they went ahead on to Ephesus and the spirit forbade them? Boy, this makes God look like a, a respecter of persons anyway, a partial God. I thought Peter's experience with Cornelius had said that God shows no partiality. Well, if that were the end of the account, then I'd be very worried uh, about our uh, image of God there. But it's all a matter of timing. God decided that Europe should now hear the gospel and there'd be plenty of time to visit Ephesus later on. And indeed, on the third mission journey, they could go directly across Asia Minor and come to Ephesus, where Paul had a three-year ministry, was the longest tenure of any spot in any mission station that we know of. <laughs>